Hi, so I just want to make a quick tutorial here on how to, how to uh, make an easy animation of gears. Uh, this is going to be the lazy lazy man's way of doing it. Uh, we're basically just going to animate the geometry. But basically this is what we're going to be doing quickly. It should take no more than one or two minutes. So let's go ahead and do it. Let me stop the animation here. Start from scratch. So first obviously, uh, this is not a, not a modeling tutorial, so I'm just going to make the gear relatively quickly. Just going to hold down shift and right mouse click and I'm just going to create a cylinder here. I'm going to rotate it, see here by 90. Press R, I'm going to scale this guy. Again, I'm just going to make this guy quickly. Go into face mode and select every other face. This is by no means a perfect gear model, so obviously you can get a better one. So I'm going to extrude that guy, those faces. Let me scale this guy just a bit. Okay, so let's pretend this is our gear object, so you can go ahead and make one. Or use whatever other object uh, you want. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'm just going to move this guy to the side here. Obviously, this is a gear, so obviously um, you want it to match. Uh, probably been better than this. This is a really quick and dirty model. Okay, so I'm going to select this object. Going to modify freeze transform so that I don't have any transformations under my uh, channel box. Select both objects and make sure you have the animation um, keyframes and whatnot here. So go to frame one, click on one, and I'm going to press S to uh, make a keyframe. And as you can see, everything is red now, uh, showing us that our object has keyframes. So now let's go to. Let's, I'm going to do 60 frames. So I'm going to click here and 60, obviously set it to 60 and 60 and 60, so that you can get to your 60 frames here. And I'm going to rotate this guy by on um, the x-axis by 360, so that it goes all the way around. And I'm going to press S, as you can see now there's a keyframe here. And now I'm going to do the same with this guy. Instead of 360 for this guy, it's going to be negative 360. And now S, so that this guy is going to be going that way and this guy is going that way. So as you can see, if you start to drag here, you can kind of see it. So to play your animation, just click on the play button. You're going to notice something uh, right away. Is that they start uh, going around, but then they kind of stop. We don't want that. So to stop that, we're going to select both objects. Click right here. So that you can see uh, this kind of the animation curves and whatnot, and as you can see, it kind of curves like that, which makes it so that it comes to a stop at one point. I'm just gonna click here to make this into a linear. As you can see, it's now a linear. So let's go back here. Now you should not be stopping. Now it should be a constant loop, so that it just repeats. So yeah, that is pretty much uh, just a quick and dirty way of doing a gear animation uh, you can use the same technique to make other things like a fan or things like that really easy and simple uh, thank you for watching